Get this in position, get this just right. Uh, now I gotta move it just a little bit. Uh, there we go. Telescope, let's take a look. <laughs> uh, lens cap, there we go. All right, take a look. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I mean, if this problem were written on the moon, this telescope would help. The problem's not written on the moon, it's right there, and it's still really hard. Um, okay, let's get this telescope out of the way. Out of the way, no more telescope. Take a closer look at these terms. What do we do? Well, this isn't helpful. Where in the world in math do we get things that look like that? 2 over n times n plus 2. Well, you can get something like that. It's a common denominator of a sum. You know, if we started out with 1 over n plus 1 over n plus 2, you add those two together, well, you get a common denominator of n times n plus 2. Let's go ahead and do that, see what happens. I mean, we don't always know what we're doing in math. We sometimes just kind of play around and hope we stumble on something good. It's a dirty little secret of mathematicians. You know, they want, they want you to think, hey, they just always know what to do, but eh, not true at all. Not true at all. They just kind of play around, and sometimes they stumble on something good. And so we're going to write this with a common denominator n times n plus 2, we multiply the top and bottom of this by n, and we add these two together, we'll have the n times n plus 2 on the bottom. And on the top we'll have 2n plus 2, which is not very helpful. But wait a second. We don't have to add. What if we subtracted? Ha! Check this out. If we subtract, the n's cancel. And we've got 2 over n times n plus 2. And we found an interesting place where we get 2 over n times n plus 2. It's just subtracting 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 2. Now, that's interesting, so maybe it'll help us with this sum. Let's take a look. So, for our first term, which is 2 over 1 times 3, we can write it as 1 over 1 minus 1 over 3. All right, do the same thing for the next term. 2 over 2 times 4. We can write that as 1 over 2 minus 1 over 4. Fantastic. Do it for the next one. 1 over 3 minus 1 over 5. And the next one will be 1 over 4 minus 1 over 6. And we'll just keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. We'll get to these last two terms, which will have 1 over... 2008 minus 1 over 2010 plus 1 over 2009 minus 1 over 2011. And we've taken this really complicated sum and we've turned it into a sum that's really complicated. Oh, it looked like a good idea too. So let's see, a 1 over 1. Wait a second. I've got a minus 1 third and a plus 1 third. We can just cancel those. I've got a minus one-fourth and a plus one-fourth. We can cancel those. I've got a minus one-fifth, and my next term here will have a plus one-fifth. It's going to come up right here, plus one-fifth, minus one-seventh. My minus one-sixth is going to cancel with a plus one-sixth. And look at that. We're just going to cancel like crazy. And we come all the way to the end of the sum. This plus one over 2008, a few terms back, we'll have a minus one over 2008. That'll knock that out. The minus 2010... We'll worry about that later. There's nothing to cancel it because the plus 1 over 2010 would be right here and it's not there. But this will have canceled. There will be a minus 1 over 2009 right before it, so that goes away too. All I've got left is 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2 minus 2000, 1 over 2010 minus 1 over 2011. That's easy. I can calculate that. I need it to the nearest thousandth. Fantastic. Oh, got my calculator. Uh. I shouldn't have thrown my calculator. Um, all right, well, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Little, little historical note. This is useless. Um, telescope. Telescope. All right, so telescopes didn't used to look like this. Telescopes, as I mentioned, pirates used to have 
these really cool little collapsible telescopes. If I'm not careful, this telescope's going to collapse too. You know, these collapsible tubes telescopes where you stretch them out and then you slide them back down, make a nice little tight tube, stick them in your pocket, carry them wherever you want to. And that's why we call these telescoping sums. Because you start with a summation like this, when you break it down into these differences, well, they collapse. Each term cancels with the later one. And we say that the sum telescopes. And we get down to just these few terms that are left. 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2010 minus 1 over 2011. And I don't have my calculator anymore, so I can't... Wait a second. I can finish this without a calculator. 1 over 1, that's just 1. 1 over 2, that's a half. So this is 1.5. And look at these two fractions. These two fractions are really, really close to 1 over 2,000. So if I just, you know, kind of... This is going to be really close to, this is minus 1 over 2,000, minus 1 over 2,000. That's minus 2 over 2,000, which is minus 1 over 1,000. And that gives me just about 1.499 to my nearest thousandth. And I am ready for nationals. And don't forget, bring me a shirt. I'll hook you up with an art of problem solving pin. See you at nationals.